Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Iraqi Die News. In today's video, we delve into the recent news from Vietnam, a country that has been making headlines for its relentless crackdown on corruption. The latest development in this saga is the conviction of a prominent soft drink tycoon, Tran Quai Than, chairman of the beverage group Tan Haip Fat. Than, along with his two daughters, has been found guilty of orchestrating a $40 million fraud case. The court proceedings in Ho Chi Minh City revealed a complex scheme where Than and his daughters scammed investors over loans issued in 2019 and 2020. Despite the borrowers repaying the loans with interest, Than refused to return the collateral assets, citing various pretexts and claiming breaches of contract. This deceitful practice led to his eight-year imprisonment, while his daughter Tran Yuyen Fuong, the company's deputy CEO, received a four-year sentence. The younger daughter, Tran Ngioc Beach, was handed a suspended three-year jail term. This case is a significant milestone in Vietnam's fight against corruption, which has seen over 4,400 individuals charged with criminal offences. The government's campaign has not spared officials and senior business figures, signalling a strong commitment to reforming the economic landscape. Some speculate that this aggressive stance against corruption could be part of a broader strategy to enhance the value of the Vietnamese Dong BND, potentially leading to economic stabilization and growth. The implications of such high-profile convictions are far-reaching. They serve as a deterrent to would-be offenders and help restore public trust in the financial system. Moreover, they could pave the way for foreign investment by showcasing Vietnam's dedication to maintaining a transparent and fair business environment. As we explore the nuances of this case, we also consider the broader context of Vietnam's economic policies and the potential ripple effects on the global stage. The country's efforts to clean up its system could indeed be a precursor to significant changes in the value of its currency, which would have implications for trade, investment and regional economic dynamics. The story of Tran Quai Thai is a cautionary tale for business leaders worldwide. It underscores the importance of ethical practices and the consequences of fraudulent behavior. As Vietnam continues to send a clear message that corruption will not be tolerated, we watch closely to see how these actions will shape the nation's future and its role in the international community. In conclusion, the sentencing of Tran Quai Thien is more than just a legal verdict, it's a statement of intent from Vietnam. The country is on a mission to cleanse its system, and the effects of this mission are likely to be felt far beyond its borders. Whether this will lead to a change in the value of the VND remains to be seen, but one thing is certain the world is watching Vietnam's bold moves against corruption with keen interest. This case is not just about the individuals involved, it's about the message it sends to the world. Vietnam is determined to establish itself as a nation with robust legal and financial systems where integrity and accountability are of utmost importance. The journey is long and the challenges are many, but with each step towards transparency and justice, Vietnam moves closer to its goal of economic prosperity and stability. Thank you for tuning in to our coverage of this pivotal moment in Vietnam's history. Stay with us as we continue to bring you the latest developments and in-depth analysis of events that shape our world. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more insightful content. See you in the next video.